Hi, I'm Amy Doneen. I'm a nurse practitioner and run the Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Center in Spokane, Washington. I'm here with um, my partner, Dr. Bradley Bale, and he runs a practice down in Nashville, Tennessee, and together we have established a method um, called the Bale Doneen Method, which is a pre um, prevention method for uh, preventing heart attacks, strokes, and type 2 diabetes. We have worked for the last 10 years tirelessly on developing this method and synthesizing the data to say we believe that heart attacks and strokes and type 2 diabetes are preventable. Um, so uh, what, we, what we've learned over the last several years is that there's many pathologies that drive vascular events. One very important pathology that doesn't get enough attention in the medical world is um, oral health. And we in medicine don't give oral health enough credit. And what we've learned based on the data and the literature is that periodontal pathogens called bacteria and also the same bacteria that ca cause cavities can provoke not only the development of vascular disease but can cause heart attacks and ischemic strokes. So what we've learned in the world of medicine is that it's imperative that you get in, get your teeth and gums evaluated regularly, you get optimal dental therapy because it's life-saving for the prevention of heart attacks and strokes not just pretty teeth, but actually preventing heart attack strokes and death and all the disabilities associated with vascular wellness. There's no question that oral health is associated with cardiovascular risk that's been proven now. And periodontal disease is extremely prevalent. Once you're 30 years of age, there's a 50% chance you have it. Once you're 65, there's an 80% chance you have periodontal disease. The biggest killer still is heart attack. The biggest disabler is stroke. And if you don't want to have that heart attack or stroke, you need to maintain a very healthy mouth. Be evaluated thoroughly for periodontal disease, and if it's present, eradicate it. We also now know the infections that cause dental caries are associated with perhaps as many as 50% of the heart attacks, that that type of infection can trigger the heart attack. So you need a thorough evaluation to make sure you don't have an unsuspected dental caries or what they call periapical abscess. So the care you're about to receive from your dentist can literally be life-saving from a cardiovascular standpoint. So we appreciate you wanting to maintain excellent oral health. It will have a very significant impact on your cardiovascular risk.